looking a little distressed, does not want to give, you know, what Chad has been calling his car up. <laughs> and this is a pretty good hand to keep the car in your side of the field. Just toss away the Malagos. <laughs> the rest of it looks pretty solid to me. I do like tossing the Malagos, keeping that twig, keeping that wild growth, even that spellstone. And Tice feels like this matchup is, you know, so detrimental that he doesn't want to keep the twig that he feels like he can't afford to get through all those swings that he'd rather find either a branching path or a nourish just something like that to keep the sustain going oh quite an interesting choice from tice there but let's see if it pays off it did throw back a nourish in its place so that is something but even though you get all the ramp in the world in this matchup i feel like you need some kind of armor at some point just being able to play out your Lich King super early won't necessarily get there. And Jouty was really thinking on that first turn about what kind of one drop he wanted to go for there. The Dharmal is much stronger against something like Spellstone, but the Dharmal also will be an enabler for the kill commands later on, so he may have been thinking about whether he needed to hold on to that or not. And now Jouty is presented the decision whether he starts to weave the hero power in or if he goes wide with these minions. I definitely think he should be playing the minions, but there is some consideration for trying to weave in that hero power every turn. Yeah, it's just a matter of whether he thinks these things can deal more damage to the face. And it's quite early to be playing around spreading played, so I can definitely respect going wide with the minions. But from this turn onward, I do think it's going to be a bunch of infinite Frost Bolts to the face. Yeah, I think the Frost Bolts are coming. Unfortunately, they don't freeze Tice's face, but they definitely deal three damage. And I think that's all Zhao T right now. Blackwall Pixie is the draw. Honestly, I would rather see the hero power than that. Me too. I mean, we do see that there's a swipe in hand that could punish it, but even though Tice or, or Zhao T can't necessarily see it, there's just other things that Tice can do to remove like the Spellstone. And later on, you can use the Pixie for an extra three damage. Tice can go Ooh. Coin Nourish into next turn Nourish and the turn after UI. But how much time does he have? I think he's got to go for it. I don't think he necessarily has the most time, but if he doesn't do this now, when is he ever going to do it? Could it decide to hero power down, but it looks like Tice is playing so defensively that he just wants to get rid of one of those fireflies. Yeah. It's looking like the next turn is Nourish Ramp again and then Swipe, so I can definitely see why he wants to fit in the mana for the Spellstone here now. And Shao Ti, we ain't in this game to play around Plague, Dr. J. We're in this no. game to push damage to the face. He said, you know what? If you've got Plague, you've got it right now. I'm not... I am just trying to firefly my way to an Aston Martin. Yes. <laughs> Lead these one attack minions leading you straight to the car there. And Tice, with a pickup of Ferocious Howl, is able to get some armor back, quite a hefty chunk after the UI. But he needs to just make sure that he can get there. So I still think it's Nourish and Swipe this turn. Yeah, the Ferocious Howl is much stronger after the fact of a UI because you will be able to draw that many cards in order to make the Ferocious Howl gain more armor. The question is, does he feel so threatened now that he needs to go for it and he decides to go for it? Alex Straza will be able to heal himself back up if he gets too low. Chauti's draws have been pretty bad here and he does not want to respect the UI. Not that he could have really played anything else this turn, but I do think there might have been an argument for holding back the Pixie for exactly turn 7. Since you saw that Tice has been ramping so aggressively and could probably put him on having UI. Yeah, Here's your T right here. You really want to find Animal Companion and Aliak because that yes. pushes a lot of damage. I mean, I guess Huffer would also do the same amount of damage, but... Zhao Ti is going to need something here as he finally uh, okay. starts to lose the board you a little know, bit. The funny thing is, even if Tice takes both these minions, Unleash gets significantly better for Zhao Ti. He can even put down a floop, and that gives Zhao Ti four points of damage out of nowhere. All right, but the crazy thing about this is yeah. Tice is going to play out all these minions in order to 
Alex Straza, Zhao T's face, and just oh. push counter lethal on the following turn. Tice oh right now is God. counting up to see if Unleash the Hounds would be lethal from Zhao T's side. It's not enough. I mean, Zhao T may have to respect one of these minions by just trading here. Yeah. Oh, Hunter's Mark makes things a lot more streamlined for him. He can just remove the 5-5, five five, I think. And... And I think you take the Unleash while it's available to you. I agree. I think you go Hunter's Mark, trade off one of the one twos, Unleash, and then just fit in all that damage face as much as possible as the Alexstrasza will not be able to kill you and you cannot afford to keep trading. Definitely not. Ciao to you there. Okay, I think he has not thought about the Alexstrasza unless he's going to end with the Hunter's Mark, but I see these arrows. And they're all going face, so... He may just candle shot down the yeah. last minion. Oh, but it looks like he's just fitting everything in face. I think this is just forgetting that Alexstrasza is a possible out. And this is a very unconventional lethal from Tice. But yeah, that is quite the misstep from Jouty there. So this will just be a lethal out of nowhere. Aggroing down the aggro player. Yeah, I'm a little curious to think about what Zhao T was because all he had to do was commit the Hunter's Mark onto the 5-5 five five and could have face tanked it with the Candle Shot and he would not have died to the Alex Straza combo. He would have pushed, I believe, one less damage yeah. and he still would have had the Arcane Shot in hand. So I would have liked to have seen that come out rather, but maybe Maybe Zhao Ti felt like he needed the Hunter's Mark for a much different application to clear up something else, but there's not Lich King in the deck list, so it wouldn't right. need to get through a taunt. And if he had Plague, 